Hey guys! It's me, Bleshi, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, what you're going to learn is how to solve problems involving quadratic equations. So if you want to know more about this video, just keep on watching. So we have the equation x squared minus 10x plus 2k plus 1 is equal to 0, wherein a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 10, and c is equal to 2k plus 1. We will be using the formula for discriminants, which is b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. We will now substitute. Our answer will be 100 minus 8k plus 4 is equal to 0, which will give us 104 minus 8k is equal to 0. We will transpose and divide both sides by negative 8, which will give us the answer k is equal to 12. Now for our next problem, let x be equal to the first number and x plus 1 be equal to the second number. Since we're looking for the product, we have x times x plus 1 is equal to 380. Now let's put it in the standard form. Let's find the factors of 380, which will be x plus 20 times x minus 19. So now we have x plus 20 is equal to 0 and x plus 19 is equal to 0, which will give us x equal to negative 20 and x equal to 19. Take note that pages are never negative so that we take x is equal to 19 or the positive 1. Let y be equal to the width and let y plus 14 be equal to the length. So our equation will now be y times y plus 14 is equal to 480. Let's use completing the squares method. Let's find two numbers that will add up to 14, which is 7. As we multiply them, we get 49. So when we add to the left side, we also add to the right side. So now we have y plus 7 squared is equal to 529. Use the square root, which will give us y plus 7 is equal to positive and negative 23. y plus 7 is equal to 23 and y plus 7 is equal to negative 23 which will give us the answers y is equal to 16 and y is equal to negative 30. Areas are never negative, so we will choose y is equal to 16, which will now become our width and our length will now become 16 plus 14, which is 30. Let M be Mira's age and 2M be Sam's age. It is said that when we multiply Mira's age and Sam's age, the answer will be 200. So we have 2M squared is equal to 200. Divide both sides by 2, which will give us M squared is equal to 100. 
use the square root, and we will have m is equal to positive and negative 10. Always remember that h are positive, so we will only use 10. So Mira is 10 years old, and Sam is 20 years old. So ayun, that ends our video for today, and I hope that you learned something new. I hope to see you again next video. Goodbye!